So welcome to the Tuesday, September the 4th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. Uh, for anybody who's not here and been here before, we are advisory to the Development Review Board. We will listen to people's applications, vote on them, and move them forward. I will let staff and members introduce themselves. Liz Pritchett. Meredith Randall, staff. Stephen Everett. Eric Gilbertson. And unless anybody has anything to add, do I hear a motion to approve so the agenda? Second. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. <coughs> and we will move to the first application for 39 Northfield Street. Andrea Cohen and Matt Chapman to construct landing and stairs. Come forward and have a seat and introduce yourself. My name is J.C. Myers. Myers Construction, I'm okay. a carpenter, builder, hired to, um, to to extend the stairway or the steps, create a landing and some stairs so that they can get to the street in that, in that alternative way than the uh, current situation, which is a pile of gravel. Okay. Probably get pretty slick in the winter. Because um, I mentioned to Eric earlier, um, this project is basically spurred by the city's changes to the city sidewalk levels. Mm. Um, they brought that down, so then they had to bring oh, the see. parking area down. Uh, and so that. the city dumped the pile of gravel, so there was some sort of access. Uh -huh. um, but now you need something that is going to actually work. So it's pretty simple. It's a three by three landing built out of pressure treated material. Um, we are going to go with the same, with the current stairway has a, uh, they've, they've basically sandwiched uh, the uh, lattice work between, you know, and, and it has a top, just has a 15 degree beveled top rail. There's, I think, photos of close ups of the actual rail. So we're going to do that. It's going to have a railing down the steps. It's going to, um, we're going to pour a paver at the bottom of the steps, sidewalk paver. Mm -hmm. And um, as near as I can calculate at this point, you know, because really, I mean, it's, it's pretty, I know where the landing's gonna be, <laughs> but I don't know, there's a lot of ledge and stuff in there. So, it, you know, there may be, it's hard to say exactly where the stairs are gonna land. It could be within, but no, within a foot or two. The only, my point really is only that if I do approach the sidewalk with the paver and it actually does uh, uh, reach the sidewalk, then it'll, I'll put an expansion joint in there between that and the sidewalk. And of course, the paver will meet the specifications of the city three to four inch. You're, you're not going to cover it, are you? No, no cover. No, covered. it's just a stair and an open landing. No cover. Yep. He's got to walk a long ways to shovel his front steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's quite a stairway. I did some work on that house last summer, and I went up and down those stairs many times carrying <laughs> compressors. And there's no other way besides up and down those stairs. It's a, I assume the treads will be solid. Yeah, they're good. everything's gonna. It'll, they'll be you know two by. Right. Yeah, two by probably two two by six. You know, it probably make them pretty comfortable stairs. Six six inch. You know, tw twelve inch treads and six inch yep. risers. Did you built thought of, on. Did you thought of using any of the steel grate treads? Mm, that's that's a possibility. This is what the customer wanted. She wanted okay. to see it pressure treated. You know. So, but I would be, you know, happy to suggest it to her, see if she, yeah. You never have to yeah. shovel them. Yeah. That's, we could put that in as an alternate. And you can talk about it. At the option of the homeowner. Steve yeah. uses about yeah. all of his buildings, yeah. so you don't have to shovel the snowboard. So pre-assembled stairs or just no, the treads themselves? You just ordered the tread. You can get them from Capital Steel. They're a little pricier now because of the tariffs. They designed to go right on a 2 by 12 stringer, like a cutout stringer? You, you don't even have to cut them out. You can do, they have some that you just use a solid stringer, which makes it more yeah. sturdy. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the tread comes with it. the side is about an inch and a quarter with two slots for you to just put carriage bolts through and bolt them right into the side of a solid I'll, stringer. I'll look into it. They might, you and know. It. They're very rugged. Yep. And we've had icicles fall on them. We've had everything beat the bejesus out of them. And mm -hmm. I've never, I haven't had to shovel stairs in yeah. 10 years. And I haven't shoveled once. And that was usually. They're not slippery in the wintertime? No. No, you get galvanized and yeah. they have a little, they have a little, little uh, 
like texture. Cork, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like it's ridged. Yeah. Uh, and the stone ice you, goes where right Where are you getting those? Car steel. Car steel? Car steel. Montpelier. Uh, oh, it's capital steel. It's capital cap steel, capital. I guess they call yeah. it. Everybody yeah. used to call it cars. Capital Steel down on th in the three mile uh, at the junction oh, yeah. road. Yeah. Like you're going to go to the train station yeah. as soon as you make the right turn there, they're on the left. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, they're a little pricier, but you know, if you need five or six of them, yeah. you don't have to ever worry well, about Well, you're going to pay some for labor to cut out those stringers too and, put every, and cut all your treads. So there might be some, I don't know, it might be comparable. Worth, worth taking a look. Yeah, I'll go, and I'll check last, it out. The other thing is beating snow and ice off of uh, wood treads, yeah. uh, invariably you beat them to death. Yeah. About every, I've found that if they lasted five or six years after you, you know, took a hatchet and beat the yeah. snow and ice off of them, yeah. after about four or five years you had to replace them anyway. I was the, uh, I was the uh, facilities director for the Central Mont Community Land Trust for six mm -hmm. years. And uh, we used to do, what we used to do with wooden steps is we'd put a rubber mat on them. I'd, textured rubber mat mm -hmm. to protect them yes no that helps a yeah. lot and so that would be another you know option i think you're you're making a good point here that they will take a pounding a two by will take a pound, quite a pounding before it completely just with the, steel, with the steel treads i probably saved in excess of 500 dollars a year shoveling expense just going because it's so quick well yeah. you don't have to do anything yeah. the oh, snow and ice good. just goes right through yep I mean, never shoveled Mm -hmm. Didn't shovel once, not once. In I'll suggest a tour for sure. And again, yeah. it, you don't have to. Right. It's if just, it's approved, if it's pre-approved, then we just come back and just as an option. Yep. Yeah. Sounds like a good one. Any other comments, questions, suggestions? Those stairs are no good if you go barefoot, though. Probably. Well, if you go barefoot you, they definitely in the make city. Here. <laughs> take, I think if you go barefoot in the city, you're taking your chances. <laughs> <That's> as <it. laughs> well. <laughs> you might get a uh, indentation as opposed to splinters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you can handle the sidewalks and the, you know, and the, the, you probably handle the steps, gravel driveways. So again, we can leave that as an option. Okay. The landing itself could even be steel. Yep. We've yep. done landings as well as stairs with the steel. I'm going to leave a few of my cards, so okay. in case you know, I do a lot of like renovation and repair. Right. You know, so. Thank you. I'm. Oh. By the way, yeah, the steel the steel one. comes as either a, a, a painted steel. Yeah. Or raw steel or right. galvanized, and yeah. the galvanized doesn't rust. Right. It's forever. Doesn't. It's forever. And it, there could be the limitation could be the cost. I would imagine you're pretty pricey, but we'll Again, see. I'll you, check it out. Look at it. See what she says. It, look at it. The overall value of the against, material yeah. might be worth it. The lifetime it. cost wouldn't look at be it as against high. maintenance. Yeah. Well, yeah. Especially yeah. with the, the stairs coming right down to where the city plows, because I know that's why you bumped the stairs back from the sidewalk. Because yeah. the city was concerned. Yeah. Um, about the city plow beating up the stairs. Yeah. So no, I think we'll be well back from the sidewalk. Even the little sidewalk plow won't have a problem there. Yeah. We'll keep it back from the sidewalk. I, I think the stairs are going to land probably three or four feet, or okay. four feet from the sidewalk. Cool. I, that's just from looking at them. I think that, and we can, we want a nice, comfortable tread and riser. You know, so yep. it's easy yep. to walk up the steps. Yep. But um, we can steepen it a little bit if it looks like it's going to impede on the, or where it's going to make snow removal difficult. Yep. You know, we won't do that. So anyway, there's a set of criteria, and I'll just read through them. And it says, preservation of reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure. Uh, this proposal is acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. 
compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district acceptable, compatibility of proposed landscaping none proposed in this application, prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable, location and appearance of all utilities, any additional lighting proposed for the stairs? None. Okay. None proposed. There is, there is a, if you look at the, I think there's some photographs of the bottom of the stairs there. Mm -hmm. If you look at that, there's a, the, uh, the steps continue off for about two feet to the right of the stair, and there's a little box, like a little closet type container. Mm -hmm. that, that's all going to be removed. Okay. So the, so the steps will come out, that, so we can rail, because they'll be on the other side of the rail anyway yep. once the rail's there. Okay. So that part will be removed. No, that's fine. The other thing, is, you, know, you can add it at a later date if you need to. They make some little solar lights that drop. Right, yeah, yeah. So that... Little you know, LEDs. They're LEDs. Yeah. And after sunset, they'll light up the, like the treads and the, mm -hmm. the platform. If they want to add something like that, that's not an issue. Recognition of and respect for view quarter and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. And again, the option was the stair landing and stair treads may be either pressure treated wood construction or galvanized steel grading at the option of the applicant. All in favor of the application with that option, raise your hand. Thank you. And I'll let you sign that above my name on the lower left there. Okay, thank you. All right. And you are J.C. Myers. I am J.C. Myers. M-E-Y-E-R-S. It's M-Y-E-R-S. M-Y-E-R-S, okay. Yep. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, is there a is there a and then it goes to if there is going to go back to develop to planning. And right. Audra will issue a permit. Okay. So, do I need to be at that as well? Okay. Nope. All right. Nope. There's no other no other hearings. Okay. Um, and this shouldn't. There's no big issues. So this should be. Okay. All right. So and there's no there's no delay between the the issuing of the permit and the actual construction start um, time. There's a. Uh, appeal period, I think, on this. It's a few days. But a few days. Okay. Yeah. That's great. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Good luck with your project. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, the, the, notice, the notice with the permit will give you the details. Question about this one either. No, no. neither. It's very <coughs> inconspicuous, tucked in behind. Sure. Is it going where that tank is right there now? Propane tank? It's in the general I don't know the want, uh, They must be going to remove that. <coughs> right. And put, I think that's for the generator. Looks kind of nice back there. Looks like generator is going to be around the corner on the side, but I assume they'll remove the tank. Well, they'll have to because that's the location of the generator. They're going to bury the tank, aren't they? Oh, I think so. Yes, that's new underground propane tank. New 500 gallon propane tank below grade to supply the new generator. Plus anything else in the building, I assume, that they have that's gas. gas is really good for generators because it doesn't go bad. 
those gas powered uh, generators are great. Yeah. I've had keep people install a couple of those. People live, live off the grid. One person was in a Colburg, New Hampshire, way up on a hill, and he checked with the power company to see how much it would run to power lines from where they ended a half a mile down the road, and it was going to be somewhere between about eighty thousand dollars. And so what he did was he installed one of those. Uh, it was a generator. It was powered by a little Honda motor. Uh, he put that up there. And he had a thousand gallon tank for heat. It's a secondary home, but a thousand gallon tank for LP. Huh? And it's for heat, refrigerator, stove, heating, and the generator. Well, you could get, get uh, he, you can use a lot smaller generator now if you get one of those Tesla batteries. Mm -hmm. You can charge it up, you can put solar in, and then the generator only comes on when you need it. So I mean, between, you can put some pretty between neat systems in now. Yeah. Between, he didn't have the Tesla, but between the uh, solar panel and the generator to supply all of his electricity when he was there, and everything was efficient inside, LED lighting, uh, LED television, and, you know, he filled up the tank uh, with LP, a thousand gallon tank, and after two years he asked the guy to come back and deliver it, and the guy came up and delivered 200 gallons of Propane. He said, "Don't call me for four more years." Which one? This goes till usually at least a little after six, but then there's a seven o'clock. Yeah, you can put together with the LED stuff, and okay. you can put together some pretty okay. sophisticated thing. I have a friend that just you know runs his generator when he's doing laundry. Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So he put in a smaller system and he just runs the generator when he's, you know, doing something that uses a lot of electricity. Oh. No emails? No emails. Um, so, I can try and call them if you want. See what's going on. Ooh. Um, or we can just move it to the next meeting. It. Yeah. Let's just continue it. I mean, yeah. this is not anything that is time sensitive, and I, I'm almost willing to say, uh, uh, you know, we could approve it without people here, but I don't think we should do that. So, yeah. okay. I think somebody should either show up or let us know. That, you know, there's yeah. an issue and can, you know, yeah. ask if we could approve it without their presence. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's pretty straightforward. I don't yeah, think not, we have any issues. It's not like something issues. where I've yeah. added, brought something in extra. This is the and it doesn't issue. sound like it's any emergency situation. No. Okay, so we'll continue. move that forward. Yeah. And his... Everyone looked at the August 20th minutes. Yep. I'll move them. All in favor of the minutes, raise your hand. Minutes are approved. And I'll leave this with you. That's the form for the 149 main. And does anybody else have any Thing to offer at this point in time? Nope. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Second. Second. All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned. Thank Good. you. Thank you.